In organic chemistry, you're going to need to be able to find the formal charge and place lone pairs rather quickly. That's why I have a sneak peek from my Organic Chemistry 1 course. The entire video and so many more helpful videos can be found on community.com. All right, another thing to, again, quickly get familiar with is just placing formal charges wherever they're needed. Let's do that together. We'll start off with this first structure. And a way to spot this is looking at different atoms, like let's say carbon, if that doesn't have the typical bonding pattern, that's your clue. That's where to look and see, is there a formal charge that needs to be there? And in this case, right, this is not a typical, we don't typically see lone pairs on a, a carbon. So I know to look there and start there. So formal charge for this carbon, the formal charge of carbon, uh, four valence electrons minus how many there actually are. So one, two, three, four, and five. That gives us a negative one. So yep, I would place a negative here. That would be my formal charge. Would I have anything else? Well, this is the typical bonding. Uh, so I know that that would be zero for formal charges. Same thing here. Nope, that's done. I'm going to look at this next one and say, okay, what doesn't have its typical bonding patterns? Well, carbon has its typical bonding patterns of four bonds, so that checks out. But nitrogen doesn't have the typical bonding, which recall our typical bonding for nitrogen was three bonds and a lone pair, or we saw a double bond and one single bond and a lone pair. I'm going to find the formal charge of this nitrogen. Formal charge of this nitrogen, uh, typically we have five valence electrons minus how many there actually are. There's one, two, three, and four, giving us a positive one. So I have to put a plus right there on the nitrogen. And then just note that you are placing the actual charges by that atom, okay? So make sure to put that charge as close to that atom and just make sure it's obvious to just make sure you don't have any uh, issues with grading. This next one, okay. Same thing here, carbon is good. That has its typical bonding pattern. However, this oxygen, mm, questionable. Let's double check. Formal charge of oxygen, that is six valence electrons minus how many it has? One, two, three, four, five. So this would be a positive one. So I would place a positive by that oxygen. And then I'm gonna look at this next one. So again, what doesn't have its typical bonding? Lone pairs on carbon, that's rare. So I know, let's check there first. So checking that carbon, valence electrons is four. So minus one, two, three, four, five. That's a negative one. So I'm just gonna place a negative here. And then double checking this carbon. Well, that has a full octet. That has four bonds. This has four bonds. Everything else checks out. Let's double check this. This carbon is the typical bonding pattern, so that's fine. This nitrogen is also the bonding pattern that we saw before, uh, right, right here. So I know there's nothing, there's none. This is a trick. There's nothing needed here. Organic chemistry classes tend to move pretty quickly. You'll probably experience that on your first day. And it's super easy to fall behind, and I don't want that for you. That's exactly why I created Community, so you can understand the material and even get ahead. Plus, there's practice exams to help you feel confident walking into every exam day. So head over to community.com, become a member, and start understanding organic chemistry. 